Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and today I have a small but mighty thrift store haul for everybody. So I do apologize in advance, but this video was filmed in my garage, so the lighting is not ideal, but I wanted to film it before my husband loaded up his truck with some of it to bring to my office. So let's take a look at what I found. The first thing up, I decided to get this 25 inch TV and take a gamble on it. Uh, thinking I could use it as a monitor for my computer. So it was $18.99 half off, so I took a $9 gamble. No big deal. Then I've been thinking about touch lamps from the 90s and my youth uh, a lot lately, and I wanted one. So I just need to put this piece back on on the clamp on the bottom. I know how to do that from the 90s. And I tested it in the store and it works. So I scored a cute little touch lamp for $4.99. Uh, I'm happy with it. So I'll just put it back together. And I finally got another touch lamp back. Another thing I found is this box of Eaton Connoisseur paper. It is a box of 500 sheets. It is missing some. We'll take a look. And it was $5.99, but I thought that was a really good price. So it is 24 pound weight. And I thought this is the perfect will paper. And so it was 500 sheets and there's a little missing but not that much and i think it is totally worth it because let's take a look at how much 24 pound paper costs for 500 sheets 26.99 27.50 to 33.29 11.57 16.83 40.81 that can't be right maybe it is who knows 39.99 yeah so the 5.99 with a few sheets missing was totally worth the price to me next another gamble i took was this nostalgia cotton candy machine for 10.99 normally i wouldn't buy anything like this because you don't know if it works but when I opened up the box and looked inside, everything is still wrapped in plastic. So this has definitely never been used. And I did stick my hand and feel around in there and all the parts are in there. So we've been talking about getting one to go with our popcorn machine for parties, etc. just to have. So I paid $10.99 for this nostalgia cotton candy machine. And when I looked up the prices, they are $49.99 with $10 shipping pretty much everywhere I looked. So I think that $10.99 was a fair gamble and hopefully that pans out. Next, I found this Fruit Loops, well, you know, Fruit Rings duffel bag. I could not leave this behind, guys. It's so unique and so quirky and so fun and so me. And it looks like it has never been used. So it has Fruit Loops all over it. And it's the perfect size overnighter duffel bag. And it's got Fruit Loops on the shoulder strap pad as well. <laughs> I love this thing so much. And it was only sorry, $4.99. So I took a chance on that. And then when I got home, I started looking into this as well. So I found one here for $26.99. This is more of a Fruity Pebbles bag, if you will. But it was the first one that I was able to find, and I didn't know what else I was going to find. But then, as I started digging around more, here are Fruit Loops. This one was $40.50, guys. Holy cow. And then I found another one. That was $45.99, but that is in Canadian dollars. But in any case, that $4.99 seems to be a pretty good steal. The next thing I snatched up was this New York Giants Christmas stocking for my husband. It was $1.99. I thought that was a steal as well. And I'm just going to fill this with some fun stuff for him for Christmas and give it to him like that. It's embroidered on the top. Really cool. Then I found this Star Wars Hours of Fun, over 800 stickers. It was only 99 cents. It is still wrapped. They actually had several of them. 
So I don't know where they came from, but I will be including this uh, in a friend's package that I'm putting together that is all like kind of uh, space and Star Wars themed, etc. So that's what it looks like on the back. Sticker activity pad with play scenes. You get 10 sticker pages and they are repositionable. So that looked pretty cool to me and especially for 99 cents. Now, the next thing I bought, I know this was promotional and free from somewhere, but I paid half of $3.99. So I paid $2 for this gorgeous fleece roll up blanket with the Vel Velcro closure and the handle. I have a gray one in my trunk at all times now, but I kept telling my mom she needs to have one. So I just love this black and white plaid. So I'm going to keep this one and give my mom the gray one in my car. And for $2, it is awesome. I love these things. They roll up so tightly and you always need one and they're so convenient. Then I found this little child size Mickey Mouse luggage. It is in great shape. I got it for my son. There's my receipt in there. I got it for my son because I realized he doesn't have his own little suitcase. Every time he goes to do an overnighter at my mom's, I have to get one of my bags. So this was $4.99. The handle works fine. The wheels work fine. Zipper's fine. And it is just in great shape. So I thought $4.99 was a very fair price for that. Um, and I did try to look them up. I could not find the exact bag from what I was seeing but I found something rather similar and they were ranging from 25 to 45 dollars and that's just on Walmart's website so I think 4.99 was great for that now for this next item I'm gonna need Patty from Patty's Chance Holes and more to please go bye love you all right, this is going to be the last item, but I found this and thought this was pretty awesome. So this is, let me move it to the light. This is a pad with a cat on it, and it is 60 sheets. It's magnetic, and it is a hand-painted pencil, and it was over $7. I paid $1.99, so you got that hand-painted pencil and this gorgeous magnetic pad with 60 pages for $1.99. Yeah. I think Patty will love that, and I'll put that in her next package. So that was my small but mighty thrift store haul this time around. Didn't find what I went there to look for, but that's okay. I still came out with some pretty awesome finds and treasures. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.